In the process of light curing printing, some residue will inevitably appear in the vat. Most of these residues are caused by print failure, support falloff, or excess curing. The residue in the resin vat starts printing if it is not cleaned in time. Lightly, it may lead to breakage of the release film, causing resin leakage. Heavy will crush the printing screen, both of which are fatal to the printer. So, before printing with a light curing machine, be sure to first check whether there is residue in the vat and whether it needs to be cleaned. The main difference between Creality's new Hallet Mage Pro and previous light curing models is that it is equipped with an automatic feeding system. It can automatically replenish the resin in the tank during the printing process, avoiding the failure of printing due to insufficient resin. At the same time, the cleaning steps are more concise and easier to operate than machines without a feeding system. Following is a complete step-by-step -step guide to cleaning the Hallet Mage Pro Resin Vat. You need to prepare rubber gloves, plastic shovel, alcohol, and paper towels before cleaning. After printing, if there are still a lot of small residues left in the vat, it needs to be cleaned. You can let the vat stand for a while to let the residue particles in the vat settle down before cleaning. First power on the machine and turn it on. Click on the printer settings. Clear the cleaning. Clear to OK. At this moment you can see the whole printing area in the resin vat is lit up. The principle is actually to solidify a thin layer at the bottom of the resin vat, curing into flakes through thin layers together with residues. This can quickly clean out the residue in the resin vat at once. At this point the curing is complete and now the cleaning begins. Since photosensitive resin has a certain degree of irritation, to avoid direct exposure to skin, so be sure to wear rubber or latex gloves during the cleaning process. Leave it for a while, and then take it off after the sheet is curled. If not curled, you can use a plastic spatula to remove the thin layer. Once cleaned up, you can continue printing. If the resin needs to be replaced, then the vat and feed tube need to be cleaned. Before cleaning, check whether the volume in the bottle is enough to load the resin in the tank to avoid resin overflow. Click Return Material to pump the resin in the vat into the resin bottle. Use the plastic spatula to scrape the remaining resin near the inlet nozzle to get the resin recycled as cleanly as possible. Click the pause button when the return material is complete. The next step is to clean the resin left in the vat and pipes. Place the feed tube into the bottle with alcohol. Simply pump the alcohol back and forth through the feed and return material functions of the feeding system to complete the cleaning process. During the return material, use a plastic spatula to stir the resin in the trough to fully dissolve it in the alcohol. Repeat this step two to three times until the tank is clean. Residual alcohol in the trough can be wiped clean with paper towels or allowed to evaporate naturally. Final shutdown of the feed system. This way the vat and pipes are cleaned. This is the end of today's video. Follow the Creality Facebook page and leave what you want to know in the comments section.